what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2014 Chevy Caprice 9C1. Up front is a 6.0 liter V8 and down below is a six speed automatic transmission. Now I'm super excited to be driving this here Caprice for two main reasons. First of all, these Caprices were never sold here in the US except to police departments. You could only buy this if you were a police department looking for new patrol or detective vehicles. But the second reason is the fact that I just got out of a 2011 Caprice that was a detective's car and a pre-facelift and this is a post-facelift Caprice. So I'm gonna share the differences with you guys today which there are actually a fair amount of them. Before we get back to the rest of the video, if you are interested in helping out the channel, please click some of the links in the description below from our awesome sponsors. We have Con Plates, which is a suction cup license plate mount. We have Cash for Cars, if you want to sell your vehicle in the easiest way possible. And we also have the fixed OBD2 Bluetooth sensor that will pair right to your smartphone. Every purchase or quote goes to helping the channel and it's greatly appreciated. But let's get back to the video. So let's get back to that 6.0 liter V8. It makes 355 horsepower, which is nothing to thumb your nose at. It is a powerful car. It is a L77 V8 from GM, meaning it shares a lot of parts with an LS2, but it's not fully an LS2. It's sort of a mishmash of V8s from GM, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. This engine can also run on flex fuel, which is awesome, given that now with gas prices, flex fuel or E85 really is a lot cheaper than normal fuel, so you can run it on that as well. All right, six liter, uh, don't let me down. Definitely did not. <laughs> it feels great for a naturally aspirated V8. It has that girth, that torque to it, which I really love. And also this has a special aftermarket, rather expensive intake. So I get a bunch of really great intake noises in here. Woo! That induction noise, baby. Wow. Like I said, paired to it is a six speed automatic transmission. Nothing really too crazy here. It's a 6L80E, which has been around for quite some time. It's a very worked through transmission and it's been put in a lot of GM vehicles. Last but not least, the Caprice is rear wheel drive. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the interior. This is a big change over the 2011 Caprice I just drove. Well, in front of me, I have two main gauges. On the left is my tachometer with fuel at the bottom, and on the right is my speedometer with my gear at the bottom, as well as it does say certified, meaning this is a certified speedometer for police use, and so it'll always be accurate so long as the factory wheels and factory tires are fitted to the vehicle. It's always gonna be dead accurate. On the steering wheel on the left, I have cruise control options. And on the right, I have my volume, source, and voice commands. This steering wheel feels a lot nicer than the 2011. This doesn't feel as base model. This doesn't feel as fleet. This is something I would see in an Impala, in a Malibu, in other Chevy vehicles from the same year which is nice to see. It doesn't make me feel like I'm in a fleet vehicle, which I am. To the left of me, I have my headlight switches, and on the door, I have my lock and unlock, power mirrors, and power windows, as contrary to the 2011, where the power windows were in the center. Moving into the center, I do have a MyLink Chevy radio. It's very clear, it's colorful, and I do get some nice features in it. And I'm happy to see such a large screen in a fleet vehicle. Down below that, I do have my radio controls, home, tune, knob, play, pause, seek, all of that stuff. Nothing too crazy here, but I like the layout of it. Nice, clean, and simple. And then down below, I do have my hazard switch. Climate controls come below the hazard switch, and I do get dual zone here in the Caprice, which is fantastic. And I love the little digital readout on the climate controls themselves. I think this looks very, very good looks very modern and that's nice especially given the fact that this is a 2014. then we get a big center console now this is where it becomes very evident that this was a patrol car this was a used day in and day out car that's actually what the 9c1 means 9c1 means a patrol car 9c3 means a detective car which was driven to crime scenes but probably never saw too much action 
This was actually a New Jersey police car and has probably seen its fair share of action. Then we do have cup holders, so we'll do a big friggin' bottle test here in the police center console, and the Caprice passes. Really cool to see that it actually passes the big friggin' bottle test. Now we gotta talk about the seats. The seats are hard, they're cloth, they are fleet. They are very obviously fleet seats. The seats are also power, and the passenger seat is power, which is very, very nice to see. However, we do have back seats, so let's go do a backseat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2014 Chevy Caprice. A couple of things to note back here. First of all, legroom, headroom, fantastic. I mean, I can fit my fist above my head, which is great. My knees don't have a prayer of hitting the seat in front of me. Really, really good stuff. The seats are actually the sort of vinyl-y leather. I don't get a center console, obviously, because, you know, bad guys don't need cup holders. That should be a t-shirt. But... The windows actually do work. The latches actually do work from inside, which they have been re-enabled. Normally in police cars, they don't work back here. But something interesting the owner pointed out is that the center drive shaft hump, where the drive shaft actually goes to the rear wheels, is actually padded. It's not hard metal. So if you bump your leg, knee, whatever, if a drunk and disorderly is back here, they're not going to give themselves a concussion on the center hump which is really nice. Now we will take a look at the trunk of the other Caprice because this one is currently full and it's the same exact trunk, so here you go. So I already popped it from the inside. However, I do have this little hole here and obviously not a factory police amp and sub, but as you could tell, the trunk goes all the way in there, which is really, really good. This of course was made for police equipment you could fit a bunch of stuff back here a rifle case whatever it might be one interesting thing back here is that you'll see the batteries right here but you also get a second battery right there so this actually has two batteries to run accessories lights things like that and so you're not going to have to jump start your police car after pulling someone over but that is the trunk of the ppv now we got to talk about the looks and i really like the refined look of the Caprice. I still think it's exciting to see a Caprice because I know that they were only fleet available. And even at that, it's not like police departments outfitted their whole lineup with Caprices. It was always one or two. A lot of highway patrol cars were Caprices. So it's always unique and cool to see one. These are the factory wheels. They are the police issue wheels, which as the owner AJ has told me is very heavy and overall i just i don't know i like seeing weird and unique cars but now let's get to my final thoughts here on the 2014 caprice 9c1 well i think this is actually miles ahead of the caprice i just got out of and they're built in australia this is really a product of holden but for us yankees a better comparison would be the chevy ss that's why this shares kind of an interior with Chevy SS's. This is miles and miles ahead of the first gen ones. It's a lot more comfortable. Just the ride quality alone is way better here in the facelift 2014. This is actually a nice car to drive. This is very, very close to the Chevy SS. Honestly, not far apart at all. I'm comfortable. I have modern enough features in here that infotainment screen and the steering wheel really give it a modern feel. And you can find these at a decent price. These are used police vehicles, and that means they're probably going to be pretty high mileage. This is 192,000 miles on this car. But you can find them for a decent price. If you want a rear-wheel drive V8 sedan that is unique and different, well, here it is. I present to you the 2014 Chevy Caprice. They're easy to modify. They're a Chevy V8, and they're genuinely fun to drive. I can drive it now. It's relatively calm it's a little noisy in here but again it's a police car but i'm driving it pretty calm but when i put my foot into it <laughs> it just brings a smile to your face and no one knows what it is you're gonna get questions at the gas station is that a big body malibu the owner has actually even gotten mistaken for a chevy cruise which is downright disrespectful 
but it's happened. No one really knows what they are, and I love unique cars like that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to AJ for letting me take out his Caprice. I was super excited to film both of the Caprices. Please go check out the 9C3 Caprice review I just did. Came out actually the day before this one, and that'll be linked at the end if you want a really solid comparison. They're really sweet cars, and I think it's really unique and interesting to sort of see those differences. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.